Hard Knock TV face mob in the building. But I know that if I stop, I'll be another nigga headed to heaven hanging with pop. These motherfuckers look at me like I'm a slanger. Making threats to my family, dog. I'm in danger. Who do you call when these agents want you dead? And they hit these penitentiaries and niggas make a pledge. So I dip and duck the fed. All my homies stuck out on indictments. Caught up on the phone talking prices. Hello? 25 with life's the mandatory minimum. My whole community gets treated like they're criminals. So I, I know I'm not wrong, man. I know, I know it's something. I know, I know it's some fucked up shit. Cause if you got, and, and don't get me wrong, I ain't discrediting nobody, you know, uh, fucking Justin Timberlake doing nine hundred eighty nine thousand the first week, cool. Can Usher do nine hundred eighty nine thousand the first week? You know, how much? I said not in two thousand thirteen. Okay, Justin Bieber can do a gazillion records the first week, but can. Chris Brown do a gazillion records the first week? You see my point now? You know, I heard a rumor, not a rumor, but I heard it from a credible source that the, 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 uh, as a producer on this particular um, network that was saying that, that we're gonna make you know this all white now. We, you know, this is gonna be for the young white teenagers now. This being hip hop? This being hip hop. We're gonna make no. Actually, this this we're gonna make this particular show or this particular uh, network for the young white kids, the young white kids. And then I'm looking at myself and listening to this, and I'm like, well, where the fuck do I fit in? I was a part of the. I was a. I was a part of the 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 the, the craft and the molding of this motherfucking shit. So I know I gotta be a part of this. You know what I mean? I know I gotta be, I gotta, I gotta remain in hip-hop history. You know what I mean? I gotta remain there. I don't, I don't want 25 years to go by and my kids, kids is 25 years old, talking about, man, my grandfather was Scarface, but, and they like, who? Oh, my grandfather was uh, Blastmaster KRS-One. My, my grandfather was uh, uh, DJ Cool Hurt. Really? Who's that? Nobody even know who the fuck Herc is, and he invented this shit. All right? Like, this shit's serious to me, man. I take this shit. This shit bigger than just a rhyme to me. It's a way of life. It's a culture. You know, respect the brand, dude. If you, I mean, if you gave a fuck about this culture in any kind of shape, form, or fashion, you would not put the shit out that you put out. You would fucking slam the door on artists that came in there with that shit. I remember back in the days, man, like Kid Flash had it so fucking tough. You know, MC Hammer had it so fucking tough. And now that shit is like cool now. You know what I mean? And that shit was not even bad. All right? I love this song too. Yeah, it's a good album. It's crazy about this album that before it came out, I mean, I worked at a label. I worked at Sony back in the days. And Everything was single driven. It's like, ah, oh, we don't care about making albums. That's the motherfuckers, man. That's that shit. They don't give a fuck about making no album. And it's all about a video and it's all about a song for the radio. And if you got some filler stuff in there, whatever. But if you can get us two or three songs on the album that we can take the radio and then we can And who made who who makes this fucking shit, man? Why the motherfucking people control what go on and what our communities here, man? Like why? Are these people in positions like this, man? I don't get that. I don't get it. Oh, don't get me wrong, you got some people that get it. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't mad at Leo, Rick Rubin, Zach, Katz. I ain't mad at none of them. Cause they, they get hip hop. But when you get motherfuckers that's in their uh, 25, 26 years, 30, you know, trying to manage hip hop groups and shit like, what the fuck, man, you don't even know my music. Right. How the fuck you want? You don't even know me. You want to manage me? Stop. You want to you uh, play God with a culture? You want to change this shit? You want to wash this out in 20 years? But I ain't going nowhere. I built my whole life around you. I thought I found it all when I found her. Shopping sprees on whatever coast. How'd you really feel? I may never know. And as I ride through these streets with my hand on my heat, eyes red 
from the sweet side Realize Some things never change once in love and it's gone You don't look at it the same, man Fucking love, cause she don't live here I'm soaked in blood, but I'm still here It's a fucking... It's a, it's a fucking, it's like a, a drive through now. You know, hip-hop is like a drive through Man, I, I guarantee you, man, it was this shit was plotted against a long time, man. They plotted against this shit a long time to, so, to, to, say destroy, it, to destroy this fucking crap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, fruity Loops. We have a lot of artists, you know, that are independent in that kind of create their own following, their own movie, create their own brand, so to speak. Do you think that could help? preserve the culture better because they, they, they have a little bit more control in terms of what they put out and and yeah what but they create. do they know how I mean if you're going by if you if you are doing this independent and you are control you are in control of what you put out do you put out the same shit that you hear on the radio or do you put out the same do you put out the same shit that that did you do you put out what hip hop is you know what I mean like, if you don't know how to make this shit, you can't make it. If you don't know how to create it, you, you don't know how to do it. You feel me? And motherfuckers who know how to do it not doing it no more because they didn't found a brand new hustle. You know? Shit, man, come on, dog. Dre? Come on, man. The best in the business. But he said, fuck this motherfucker, too. He is hip-hop, in my opinion. Marley Mar is hip-hop, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And, and when you got those two people, those two uh, mastermind, groundbreaking record makers not making music no more, then, then you ain't really got shit to go by. You ain't got shit to, 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 to study. You ain't got shit to learn from. You know? And then you, 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 you got the powers to be for that shit. Come on, man. I, I sh Dude, for, for somebody to come out and make a trap beat beside Shorty Red. Uh, whatever his name is, the, the dude that originated the trap music. If you're not him, then why are you biting his shit? Is it not a crime for biting no more? Do a nigga not get severely punished for biting no more? Like, why does every fucking record sound like one long ass song? Why? Everybody at the labels wants that same. It's not Why? about finding the new person. It's about finding whoever sounds like whatever's on the radio right but now. But then you look, look at rock and roll. Moving right along. Yeah. Rock and roll. Moving right along. Everybody know how to play drums and guitars and shit. And everybody can sing and shit. But you looking at fucking uh, everybody else in, in, in R&B. You know, hip hop or whatever. And fuck you want to call that shit. Don't nobody know how to play nothing no more. You know, ain't nobody in the band no more. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened to all the black groups? I ain't even talking about the Commodores or like Maze or some shit like that. But what have happened to groups like fucking Mint Condition and shit? Like where that's at? Like what the fuck happened? Who stole the soul? Who fucking stole the soul, man? It's gone. That should be the name of your book. Who stole the soul, man? That shit is gone, man. And people is walking around this bitch, you know, happy go fucking lucky like nothing is happening. You don't see this shit unfolding in front of you? They knocked your ass out. Ain't no it's R and B now. Rhythm and blues is not. Used to be soul. Used to be soul, be soup music for your soul. That shit is over with. No more soul. Who stole the soul? Hip hop, heartbreak, straight lace, deep bass, 808s plus the mixtapes. Got a nigga feeling like an open lecture. Get away now, you're all in the lectures. Being studied by the college's professors. Now I regret the day I met ya. I'll be the first one to say it. She ain't the one you wanna play with. I fuck hip hop. And if, and if, and if I cry too. There's rumors that uh, you're gonna come out with a collaboration with, with Beanie Siegel a while ago. Not that happen. That's not happening. Uh, not, not between now and the next four years. And then your solo project, there was rumors of a couple different titles. Um, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Really soon. You mentioned a little bit you, you're writing a book. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What the focus is on that? What do you want to accomplish? Um, I just want everybody to know me. And know what the truth is. 
you know, know who the truth is. Like you can't you can't deny how um you can't deny how much of an influence the ghetto boys were. And I was you know, to 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 music, you know. And I just want to tell my side of the story, though, from the from the back, from from the inside of it. You know what I mean?